Well, hey everybody, uh, how y'all doing? Hopefully y'all are doing uh, good on this uh, on this uh, Saturday afternoon. I wanted to look at something, and I wanted to kind of look at some of the the most awful records that the NHL has ever seen, and it kind of makes me wonder if the 2023 San Jose Sharks might do worse. Now, I wanted to look at some of the worst records dating back since 1990. And there are some awful, awful records here. Now, the worst, the worst right now, I suppose I should win my. Eh, what did I do with that? Oh, hang on. I forgot to add here, because if we're putting years in here, we have to put years in here. So we'll put we'll put the we'll put the year this year right here. There we go. We'll do that. So, I wanted to look at some of the worst records that have ever been in the NHL. And dating back since 1990, because there have been some bad, there's been some bad ones. And the worst, the worst of them, the worst of them all, the expansion year, Washington Capitals. Their expansion year, 1974-75. They went, they had, they finished with a record of 8 wins, 67 losses, and 5 ties. For 21 points. Ouch. Absolutely horrible season. And that's the worst. That is the worst of... That's that's the worst... Uh, the worst record, at least... or well, they, well, I suppose... Not dating back since 1990. That wouldn't make a lot of sense. <laughs> okay. We'll do that. We'll, we'll do, we'll do dating because I just... I just looked at that, and I'm like, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Dating back since 1990, it's because all the other ones are since 1990. So we'll go since, you know, we'll go, we'll go since, we'll go, we'll go for, yeah, and we won't necessarily put a year. That, that, that just works. <laughs> we'll do it that way. Just some of the five worst records. So the Washington Capitals, their first year, they went 867 and 5, 21 points. The worst win total of any of any team in NHL history for a full season. And we thought, you know, that's that's pretty awful. Well then 1993 comes along, and unfortunately, this this same team is on here, you know, is on here in 1993. This is San Jose's second season. They went 11, 71, and 2. They that, that they finished that season with 24 points. Now you'd think that's bad, you know. You you'd think that's bad. Well, now that same season, the Ottawa Senators, in what was their first year, they went 10 70 and four, 24 points. So they equaled the they equaled the same amount of points, but. Ottawa finished with one one less win than San Jose, but San Jose had one more loss, and that's where the ties come in because because Ottawa had four ties, San Jose only had two, but they only finished with twenty four points. Those are two of the worst records that I that I remember ever seeing. Then you've got the Quebec Nordiques in nineteen ninety. This team was a truly awful. Truly, truly awful team. Going 12, 61, and 7. You win 12 games. And that's the weird thing about that about that Quebec team. They won 12 games, but they were still getting 15,000 plus fans a game. How? How how you ask? I have no idea. No idea how you get a team that only wins 12 games and still is practically selling out Le Colisee. But they did. They love they love their hockey in Quebec. 
And then, uh, and then the Atlanta Thrashers, I do not, I was looking through a lot of the magnets that I've made up. I do not have a Thrasher one. I need to get, I need to get a couple of those made up. So I had to use the Winnipeg Jets. I had to use the current Winnipeg Jets logo because that's where they came from, from Atlanta. They went to Winnipeg. So I've got to get a couple of, I got to get a couple of Thrasher magnets made up. I was kind of surprised I didn't have one of those. I didn't have one of those. But, uh, but in 2000, the Atlanta Thrashers went 14, 57, 7, and 4. That's when you, that's when you separated the overtime losses and the shootout loss instead of all going into one column. That's 39 points. So those are some of the worst records that have ever been that have ever been seen. And now we look at this year, the 23-24 San Jose Sharks. Through 10 games, they're 0-9-1. One point. Through 10 games. Now there's 72 games to go. What I kind of wonder. Where could they finish? Could they could they win less games than the expansion year Washington Capitals? With the way they're looking right now, it's entirely possible. I can't imagine that they'll win less than eight games, honestly. But wow, they're just they're they're so bad right now absolutely horrible but even if they do win even if they do win more games than eight games you know do they over do they overtake their their second season they only won 11 games in their second season they did better in their expansion year than they did in their second season they only won 11 games in their expansion year or even ottawa ottawa only won 10 games in their first year do they, you know, or, you know, or, or even here, Quebec, 12, 12 wins. Where, you know, with 72 games to go, where does San Jose finish? Is it possible San Jose finishes with less wins than the Capitals, which would set the record for the worst, for what would probably be the worst season of all time? Or, you know, or is it somewhere in, in the middle? Or do they, you know, do they finish, you know, 10 wins, 11 wins, 12 wins? Even Atlanta, even the Atlanta Thrashers, they're, they're, they're the, the year in, in 2000, 14 wins. Where does San Jose finish? Is it entirely possible that they might not win more than any of these teams? I mean, is, is it entirely possible that they don't even win 14 games? Is it entirely possible they don't even win 10 games? I, I just, I don't know. I, I don't, I don't know where they, I don't know exactly where they, where they're going to end up at. But this is a, this is a bad team right now. I mean, just, I mean, they're coming off a game against Vancouver where they lost 10 to 1, 10 to one, and it's the kind of thing where you look at something like that, and you're like, "Can they not do relegation like they do in the European leagues? In, in the European leagues, can we relegate them down to the lesser, down to the down to the second tier?" <laughs> but the NHL doesn't have necessarily a second tier. It, it, but it's it's the kind of thing where you know, okay, can we bump the San Jose Sharks down to the AHL and maybe promote, uh, you know, maybe promote you know the Hershey Bears or something? You know, a team that wins the that wins the AHL title, you know, promote them, you know, and bump down San Jose, you know, maybe do a relegation thing between the, you know, between the big the the big league and the and the and the 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 farm league. After seeing San Jose give up 10 to Vancouver, it kind of makes one wonder. <laughs> You know, it, you know, could there be a relegation? Could the NH, could, the, could this start a trend in the NHL where if you're just this bad, maybe we just relegate you down to the, we just relegate you in the next season down to the down to the AHL and bump an AHL team up to the NHL? I don't know, but it's it's just it's it's bad. It is bad right now. San Jose, I mean, I've seen some bad teams. Obviously, I mean, I was not alive 
to see the eight win Washington Capitals. I wasn't alive until two years later. That was 1975, 74, 75. I just, I, I don't know. I don't know. Or is that 75, 76? 75 something, yeah, 1975. I wasn't born yet watching the, with that Capitals team. But I was alive to watch all these others. And my goodness. I mean, San Jose and Ottawa are the only two teams that I know to have lost 70 games in a season. And they were awful. <laughs> I mean, they were just awful. I mean, Ottawa, obviously, they were an expansion team. This is when, this is back when expansion, when the NHL didn't, you know, didn't really care much about expansion, or at least how good the teams were. It's not like the expansion time, you know, it's not like expansion now where, you know, you want to make sure that they're a decent team right out the gate. They didn't, they didn't, they didn't care about whether you're a good team out the gate in the 90s. They just didn't care at all. You were going to be bad. You were going to be bad for a while. You were probably going to be bad for at least your first, you know, eight to ten years. And then you're going to get good. And it, and, it, and that's kind of how that that's kind of how that was with with San Jose and with Ottawa, is they were bad for a long time. They were bad for a long time, and I think San Jose had one year. I think it was it was I think it was the year after this, honestly, ninety three ninety four. I believe it was the the very next year. They went from being an eleven win team to making the playoffs and upsetting the Detroit Red Wings. And they went to game seven against, uh, oh, who was that against? Who was that against? Was that against Vancouver? I'm, 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 trying to, I'm trying to remember right off the top of my head. But they went to seven games in that second round. And they almost, and they almost won. I mean, they almost made the conference final. That might have been against. Would that have been against Toronto? No, Toronto was in the conference finals in '93. I don't think they were in the conference finals in '94. I'm not positive. I'm trying to. I'm trying to remember this off the top of my head. Let me know. Let me. Let me know in the comments section, just to make sure. Because, like I said, I'm trying to remember this off the top of my head. But San Jose, after after only winning 11 games, they they made it all the way to Game Seven of the second round, and you know they were they were they were making some noise, and that's when they kind of started to get a little bit better. But it took a bit, and it just I guess I don't know. I mean this I mean the '93 San Jose Sharks is the worst season that the Sharks have ever had, going 11, 71, and two. Could the 23-24 Sharks do worse? Or can they manage to do a little bit better? I don't know. I'd love to know, though, what you guys think. Where do you think the the 2023-2024 San Jose Sharks, where do they finish? Do they finish worse than the 8-win Washington Capitals? Or do they maybe win as many games in between... 10 and 14 or actually or well actually do they finish with less than eight wins or do they win or do they win say exactly eight games or somewhere between eight and 14 i don't know i'd love to know what you guys think where do you think this this year san jose sharks finish do they finish worse than the eight win capitals or can they or can they manage to win anywhere anywhere between say nine and fourteen games? I'd love to know what you guys think. And again, let me know in the let me let me know in the comments section as I completely had a brain fart there. And who who was it who knocked out San Jose in that second round in '94? For some reason, I was thinking Toronto, but I don't think it was Toronto. I literally just total you know total brain fart. But where do the Sharks finish? You know, do they become the worst team in NHL history in winning less than eight games? Or 
can they win anywhere between 9 and 14? Or do they find a way to win more? Let me know what you guys think. I would love to know, uh, I would love to know what you guys think. If they can maybe find a way to dig themselves a little bit out of this hole as I knock the board here. Or is this, is this bad season going to potentially be a historic bad season? Let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you like the video, hit that like button. If you really, if you really enjoyed it, hit that subscribe button. It would be greatly, greatly appreciated. And if you want to be notified anytime future videos of mine go up, you can tap the little bell and it will notify you anytime one of my videos goes live. And, uh, and yeah, again, let me, let me know what you guys think. Does this year's San Jose Sharks team become historically bad or can they find a way to, to, climb their way out of out of this and win more than 14 games let me know what you guys think hit like and subscribe i'll see you guys later